sisters, my young sister, talk to you from the Quran about the devil as he seduced your parents in the garden, pulling off from them their clothing that he might show them their shame. See, as a young girl or old woman, there's a certain shyness that should accompany you. When I was young, no decent woman would put her underwear on a clothesline for a strange man to see her underwear. Am I lying? When women wash their personals, they wash them and dry them even out of the presence of their father and their brothers, much less their uncles and their grandfathers. But today, your drawers are on display. Come on, no, 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 they're serious. You put on some see-through clothes and naturally we got eyes. We really trying to see through. Like the Masonic says when he reached the 32nd degree, I spied Mecca. He said, Lord, I spied the Holy Land. And you want him to find what nature wants you to hide from any man that hasn't made a commitment to you, to you, that he will honor in marriage. So now they don't make pants anymore like they used to make them. They make them hugging your hips with your navel out exposed, you know. Then you don't even wear a brassiere. <laughs> Shake it up, baby. And you driving these brothers insane. Then you put the pants on so tight, ain't nothing left to his imagination. And what does this happen? What happens to him? He ain't thinking sane. Damn, Joe, did you see that? She sure is fine. I'm gonna go over and talk to her. Then when he come over and say, hey, baby, shake that thing. How dare you talk to me like that? You must think you talking to a prostitute. Hell yeah. If you gonna dress like a whore, what else are they gonna think? 